Bill Owens' Suburbia is on exhibition at Historic City Hall Arts and Cultural Center through March 8, 2014. The collection of 78 photographs managed by Art to Art Circulating Exhibitions from New York is currently on national tour. Bill Owens was born and raised on a farm in Northern California. After hitchhiking around the world and a stint in the Peace Corps, he became a staff photographer for the Livermore Independent in 1968. Owens became fascinated with suburban California. He spent a year photographing the people who enjoyed the lifestyle of the suburbs. They had realized the American dream and were proud to be homeowners and to have achieved material success. Suburbia, first published in 1972, is a slightly subversive look at an inward-looking middle class who, in their own words accompanying the photographs, were seemingly oblivious to the racial and cultural strife roiling America's cities. With 30 years hindsight, and with many of these same tracked homes now replaced by McMansions, we can look back with nostalgia on this brilliant timepiece. When he published Suburbia, he had this to say. This is sort of his own introduction to the book. He said, these photographs are about my friends and the world I live in. In the fall of 1968, I began working as a photographer for the Livermore Independent News. My daily routine took me into the homes of hundreds of families and in contact with social life of three suburban communities. The people I met enjoy the lifestyle of the suburbs. They've realized the American dream. They're proud to be homeowners and to have achieved material success. To me, nothing seemed familiar, yet everything was very, very familiar. At first I suffered from culture shock. I wanted to photograph everything, thousands of photographs. Then slowly began to put my thoughts and feelings together and to document Americans in suburbia. It took two years. He respected the people. He respected the people for who they portrayed themselves to be. Find a sense of freedom in the suburbs. You assume the mask of suburbia for outward appearances, and yet no one knows what you really do. So, I think that if we want to try to draw a line between why the work was successful in 1972 when it was published, and why we still look at it today, that's obviously a big part of it.